the NFL on EA Sports. Getting set now for today's matchup as we join you from Levi's Stadium. When you look at this matchup, you've got to talk about the deep threats, the guys that can go long, and two of the best, speediest receivers in the game are going to be on the same field today. Yeah, it's going to be fun to see how they, both teams, the offenses, how do they get the football to these speedy wide receivers, and no matter what you do on the defensive side, you go, well, we're going to take them out of the game, we're going to double team them. Really, how are you going to do that when they're in motion? They're always changing formations very tough to do now you just got to rely on good tackling and try to prevent those short catches and long runs bush is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back hand off off the right side bush got a little crease big time action by reggie bush bill you always talk about establishing the run early and they do it with that one big play Oh, they sure did. This offensive line and that play, they put a whipping on the deep ball comes out. And the recovery is made by the defense. That brings the play to an end. Well, that's what you call a takeaway. That time the defense just hit the ball carrier so hard that he had to give the football up, and they lose it. First down here. Gore up the middle. Gore's tackled down after a gain of two. This man right here, Vernon Davis in this game. If Vernon Davis wasn't so big, you could play him at wide receiver because he has the speed of a wide receiver. And we've seen it so many times. He can take a five-yard catch and turn it into an 80-yard touchdown. It's now second down. Takes it out of the eye. And at the 49, he'll be brought down. best when it gets to the quarterback. <laughs> On the way, third down. Gore is in the backfield. Set up screen to Gore. That's a gain of seven. Early in this game, Phil, and already on the other side of the midfield strike. Nice job by the offense here. Good play calling, too, Jim. Mixing up the plays. The defense is off guard right now, and the offense is taking advantage of it. have it at the 44. Gore looking for a lane. He's tackled right at the 36. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Coming up, second down. And Crabtree's a receiver in the slot. the give to Frank Gore and he's tackled but not until he picked up the first down. Gore is a great running back to have on your football team isn't he? He goes up in there and gets the first down. Now your offense has three more chances. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Colin Kaepernick under center. Another handoff right back to him. And Gore is brought down. When you have a defense, it's not playing good technique. They're selling out, overplaying plays 
will you run the counter runs to counteract what they're doing on the defensive side. Play number six coming up on this drive. Defense with plenty of bodies in the box here on this play. Second down and two. Feeds him again. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. Moore is a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Defense filling up the box here with a 4-6 formation. They feed it to him one more time. He's going to the left. Takes it the distance for the touchdown. Well, when your offense goes out there and scores a touchdown to put you ahead, it's got to give a big lift to the defense. they got to get excited and go out there and hold that lead. The 49ers with the PAT to come. Makes the PAT. 49ers setting up for the kickoff. Steps up and fields it at the two. And he runs it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. They face first down. Stafford's setting up now in the pistol. And the give to Reggie Bush. Antoine Buffet makes the hit. And it'll be second down and six after the running play on first down. Stafford set in the pistol. Bush looking for some daylight up the middle. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. The Lions in the pistol formation. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. The Lions from the 37. Out of the pocket. The ball is out. And the offense was able to recover the ball. That fumble almost cost them. It's now second and 11. It's Bush in the backfield. The Lions snap it at the 36. Reaches out and grabs it. He'll pick up seven this time. It's third down coming up. The Lions come out in the pistol. The 49ers defense now loading up, expecting pass with a dime defense. This should be the last play of the quarter. The Lions take it from the 43 to Ebron. And he is brought down at the 39. The Lions still driving as the second quarter gets underway. First down here after the completion. The 49ers defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Running room, and Bush is stopped there. Jim, they got momentum on their side right now. They are making everything work. That was a nice play. They pick up another first down, and they got a good drive going here. Setting up screen. Brings it in. Brought down after a gain of six. 
The pass play was good for five. Second and five coming up. Bush is taking the handoff. Trying to find an opening to the right for about four. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. That's a timeout by the defense. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. Matthew Stafford's injury won't hold him up enough to keep him out of this game. He's ready to head in as soon as possible. Back to you. The defense comes out in the dime. Bell's handed the football. That's a gain of six. First down by the offense in the red zone. And, you know, if you're on the defensive side, you don't have to worry about deep passes anymore. You can be more aggressive and take some chances. Bell's tackled down after a gain of seven. Nothing too exciting here. Just plowing ahead, getting closer to that goal line. Well, they're trying to find out if this defense has the courage and toughness to stand up to them. So far, they have. Runs it across. Touchdown. Well, you can tell this offense, they missed their leader. Uh, the quarterback was out for a little bit because we thought he was hurt. He comes back in the game, and what a terrific touchdown throw. The Lions can tie it up with the point after. Driving extra point is good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He'll have a chance to take off. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. It's first down as they head to the line. And Crabtree is going to get set in the slot for this snap. Play fake. To Davis. This is something Colin Kaepernick does very well. Play action passes because it gets him deep behind the line of scrimmage and he can make those active throws down the field. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Kaepernick with the handoff. Picks up eight here. Always good to have these types of runs. Yeah, it's not a first down, but it sends a message. It shows everybody that you can run it when you want to. And also, it opens up so many other things for your offense. down here after the run offense lines up here gives it to him again and that's a big tackle behind the line of scrimmage good job by the defense they stopped the first down play that time by the offense and now they have a good situation Second down after going to the ground game, the first play. And Crabtree's in the slot. And he's forced to the ground. Well, that was an aggressive play by the defense. That's risk-reward. The, the reward, of course, is sacking the quarterback like they did. Well, the risk is if you don't get there, you could give up a big play. It'll be third down. Offense lines up here. Kaepernick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. That ball has been picked off. Spins out of the 
tackle. The tackle is made. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. They come to the line, and it's first down. And the give to Reggie Bush. Tackle made by Smith that time. Second down now. Reggie Bush is in the backfield. Offense lines up here. We've hit the two-minute warning here in the first half. Third and short following the incompletion. Stafford lines up in the pistol. Bush running right through the trenches. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. Getting set as fast as they can. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. First down at the 47. Long ball to Calvin Johnson. Incomplete. I'd like to see this team throw the football down the field a little more often. That time it doesn't result in a completion, but just keep trying. After the incomplete pass, it brings up second down. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. That's Willis buying in to make the play. Play number six coming up on this drive. No need to huddle. Hurry up offense. Third and ten. Up the middle. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Fourth down and ten, and they're going to go for it. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. This is going to set up a change of possession. Good job with the safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can blitz two and get to the quarterback. The 49ers get ready to start their drive. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. First down at the 41. Set up screen. And he's tackled. He'll be a yard short of the first. Well, that was a nice job by the offense. It just puts them in a better position. Nice little throw and catch. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Lions official. Matthew Stafford's injury appears to be neck-related. The doctors are not saying what the injury is yet, but obviously, guys, it's an area of the body they're being very careful protecting. Third and short following the incompletion. So many good tackling safeties in the NFL, but not this time. That long run 
goes for a touchdown. It was about the moves and the blocks down the field. Terrific job by the offense. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Signals and makes the fair catch. The Lions offense ready now to see what it can do. Bush is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. First down at the 20. Gets the handle here. Nothing up the middle here. Bowman on the stop. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Stafford's going to be in the pistol here. The wide receiver in motion. Second down and 12. Falls on the ground. Recovery by the offense. Well, the defense always says, let's call Lose some fumbles. Then when you call it and you're not able to recover it, that is one emotional letdown. We'll go no huddle. The Lions have to take their final timeout. That's it. Can they overcome the sack? Third down on the way. It's Bush in the backfield. Prevent defense time. Plenty of defensive backs out on the field for this one. Screen has his man. That's a good tackle, and that's a quick three and out. That does it for the first half. Lions trailing this one. Okay, Larry, looking sharp back in that studio. Thank you for that. And now we're ready to get the third quarter underway as these teams take the field. Perfect onside kick, and they're going to get the football back. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Stafford's lining up in the pistol. The third quarter begins with this play. And Bowman in on the tackle. Now the offense in a hurry up. Second and ten. They want to keep feeding him the football. When you get in a situation like this as a quarterback, it's in the second half, it's third long, you're losing a close game, it's up to you to make the right decision. Don't force the issue. If it's not there, throw it short or throw it away. Third and 11. Very nearly intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything that's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The coach is going to go for it. Jones is lined up now as a slot receiver. Stafford from the gun. That's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. What a surprising move that time by the coach. It's fourth and long. You got a close game here, and you go for it, and you fail. I don't know why you would take that chance so early. First down, offense readying for the snap. Line receivers are bunched up. Toss to the outside. And Moore is brought down. That was
was a power running play that time by the offense and picked up some good yards. Nothing like it. Show the defense you're willing to get in there and slug it out and get some tough running yards. Second and three after that last carry. The defense comes out in the nickel. Gore is going to take the handoff now. And Gore is brought down. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. They're able to move the chains after that last run. The 49ers come to the line with a bunch set. And the give to Frank Gore. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. After running it, it's second down. The 49ers come out in a bunch set. They're setting up screen. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. The 49ers are really a true football team. Their defense, we know it's good. They don't want to just rely on it. The offense, nice job picking up that first down. Eat the clock up. Keep the pace of the game on your side. Small lead here in the second half. That was a good job. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Hyde takes his spot in the backfield. Hyde's going to secure the handle. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. That's second down coming up. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Another carry here. Picked up about two. Hey, this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. Third down now. Under center. Third and nine. The defense gets a sack. Well, when you have an offense that likes to send the running backs out on pass routes, sometimes you're going to get in trouble. The defense sends more guys than the offensive line can block. And what happens? The quarterback goes down. This will be a field goal attempt from 49 yards out. for the offense interesting little chess match game here as they missed the long field goal and set up the opponents now with an excellent starting point anytime you talk about a long field goal it's it's 50 50 at best that time the mechanics of the situation were not perfect doesn't look like a good hold and that's why they missed the lions bring their offense back onto the field for their next drive jones lined up in the slot first and ten Calvin Johnson with the catch. Taken down at the 45. That leads us to second down. They hurry to the line of scrimmage. The defense gets the sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. Third and long. Matthew Stafford looking long. And this will be incomplete. It'll be a three and out. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. They bring back out the offense to go for it. 
They've come out in the dime package. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The Lions take it from the 33. They fail to convert, and now a change of possession. Well, let's try to get into the mind of the coach here. Maybe he doesn't trust his defense. That's why in a close game on fourth and long, he went for it. It didn't work, so we'll see if his defense can bail him out. The winning the field position battle right here as they start the next drive. Nickel formation here for the defense. The 49ers take it from the 33. Room to work, and Gore is brought down. Running backs, they love counter runs. They know what a defense has been over-pursuing, so they make that fake one way, and when they cut it back, there's usually a great running lane there. It's now second down and five after running it on first down. Davis is set now. Split out wide to the left. Score. Touchdown. That was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The 49ers for the extra point. An extra point is good. The Lions are ready to receive the kick. Takes off from the five. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. First down coming up. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Bowman, the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Second and 12. Looking to the right side and throwing. Could have been intercepted. Well, Jim, I threw a lot of passes like that in my career where it should have been intercepted, and the guy dropped it, you just go, yes, I got a break. Now can you capitalize on that break? Failing to connect their third down. The defense comes out in the dime. Stafford in shotgun formation. Heaving it down the field, and they can't connect. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Going for it on fourth down. Matthew Stafford will be under center. That timeout by the offense. The coach is going to go for it. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He'll fire it out to the left. Reaches up to make the catch. I thought that was a pretty risky play that time by the offense. Even though it's the second half and you're down, 
you don't always have to go for it on fourth down. Fortunately for them, they got it that time. the offense fumbles the football but the defense hit them so hard uh, there's no chance of hanging on hits the ground and the defense recovers really good field position here to start this drive Colin Kaepernick under center first down at the 37 balls loose Mathis is the one who brings him to the ground. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. They load it up now. Bring out the jumbo formation. Gore's got it on the handoff. Defense, play the situation. It's third and long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you and then let them catch it and come up and make the tackle. Third down following the run. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. job of the defense that time in position they read the quarterback's eyes and it led to an interception first down on the way Johnson's a receiver in the slot and the give to Reggie Bush Taken down just two yards short of the first. This will be second down. Hurry up. Two-minute offense. Bush looking out wide. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. When you're behind in a football game, all you can do on the offensive side is just go out there and thinking about making plays and picking up first downs. Good job by the offense. The best way to keep the other offense uh, on the sidelines is just keep marching down the field and picking up those first downs. What a good job by the offense. First down here after the run. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Just a quick drop back. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled, being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did, they got the interception. First down here. Nickel formation for the defense here. And the give to Frank Gore. Webster's there to make the stop. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. Second down and three following that nice run. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Gore. And a run right up the middle. And Gore is brought down. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. An extra tight end on the field for this one. Yeah. 
third and short. Back to the ground. Gets about nine on the play. When it's third and short, the defensive line, you got to guess. You got to think it's going to be a run play. I don't know what they were thinking. They let the offense just push them back, and they give up the first down. Good job by the offense, though. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. A new set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. The Lions come out in the nickel. Flip to the outside. And that gains a few. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second down. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. The 49ers will take the snap from the 40. Right back to him one more time. And they get to him at the 45. The Lions decide to take a timeout here, leaving them with only one. Play number six coming up on this drive. Colin Kaepernick under center. Third down and two. Gore is taking the handoff. Got the first, and he's got some space. Well, everybody talks about the pass in the NFL. When it's third and short, you got to man up and be tough and strong. Nice job that time by the offensive line. They let the running back get in there and pick up the first down. First down following the long play. Going to be a tackle for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second down coming up. Defense comes out in a 4-6 formation. Hines handed the football. He'll go to the left. And he's brought to the ground. The Lions with no timeouts left. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun. Falls out. Nice job by the offense that time. Even though they fumbled the football, quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. Dawson will line up for the field goal try. No good. An empty trip for the offense. They go for the long field goal try, and in the end, they come up empty. Yeah, they came up empty, Jim, and I, I thought it was a risk by the head coach. Uh, didn't manage the game very well that time. I would not have tried the long field goal. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Stafford setting up now in the pistol. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. First and ten. Matthew Stafford looking long. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game that can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped. And this time, that was a bad drop by the defense. Second down. 
late in the fourth quarter. Stafford set in the pistol. Second down and ten. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Now, looking at third down. Stafford lines up in the pistol. Down the field. And it's incomplete. I think the coach has got to call more of these plays. That's a good job of at least trying to get the big play, but they cannot get the completion on that long throw. Offense back on the field here for this fourth and ten play. This will be the final snap. Looking long. And it falls incomplete. How much sweeter is practice going to be this week after the win on that sideline? Once you win, practice is easier because your confidence is high. You feel good about what you've done from the previous week because you won. So I think it always gives you a better chance of winning the following week because you feel so good when you're out there in that practice field. 